Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the Board of Governors, members of the Academic Senate, graduates, staff, faculty, students, family members, and the Nipissing community at large. My name is Dennis Chippa, and I can tell you as a nobody from Nowheresville who was told by a guidance counselor in grade 11 that I wasn't exactly university material, this is just a tremendous honor. Um, I want to address the students and their families. I know this is tremendously difficult for you. Not to be able to share this with your friends, your classmates, professors, and your other graduating colleagues, this is not likely any consolation to anyone. But 300 years from now, they'll be talking about this in their history classes, and they will be talking about folks like you. So we know how much this is bothering you, but at the same time, you didn't have to get your hair done, and you can watch the whole thing in flip-flops and shorts, as I know you are, as am I, under this suit. Totally doing it. When Dr. de Gagne informed me of this honor, he said at the time, which seems so very, very long ago, because it was pre-COVID, he told me, say a few words following the ceremony to inspire the students. So here's the problem. How do you inspire a group of people who inspire you? Because there has never been and may never be as resilient a graduating class as you. You have managed to get through so much in these years at Nipissing that there isn't anything I can possibly say to inspire you. Your ability to focus on everything, the long nights, the exam stress, weather issues, parents, money issues, stress, Sports, parents, relationship issues, all these clubs, the events, the fundraisers, the experiences, all of the causes that make university life so memorable. Messy roommates, parents, and still pull off this. This tremendous success makes you true heroes in my books. And then to finish, oh wait, there's a global pandemic that you had to finish your studies with and then graduate into. <laughs> Good luck with that. It must seem daunting. But it's not, not for you. You have had a chance and I've had a chance to get to know each other a little bit, some of you, over the last several years. And I am confident in saying, this is gonna be nothing for you. This will be a step and it'll be a challenge, but it's not something you can't overcome. It's an opportunity for you. Think of it that way. This is an opportunity for you. You already know how resilient you are how tough you are, how resourceful you are, how flexible. If you can handle what you've been through, this is just another stepping stone. You are graduating at a time when the world seems to be in complete turmoil. You may be wondering what could possibly happen next. But wait, you know you. You know what you've already achieved. You also know you are leaving this institution with not just a piece of paper, but with knowledge and the skills to apply that knowledge to a world that so desperately needs you right now and in the future. So what are you going to do in a post-COVID world? Ask yourself, not what will I do, but how can I help? You are graduating in the helping profession. So help people. There are literally millions needing it. Now, I'm wearing the Order of Ontario, not because I'm some kind of a hero, but because often I simply asked, how can I help? Am I special? No, I'm a nobody from Nowheresville. But I asked, how can I help? Then here's the real trick. Then I went out and did it. I just went out and did it. Using what few skills I had, I managed to help. Whether it's coaching Special Olympics, setting up a designated driver program with the area's licensed establishments, raising money to provide smoke alarms for vulnerable populations, developing a program to pick up used syringes, or setting up the warming center. It was about doing. Every day, I go into the gathering place and I say the same thing. What can I do to help these folks? It's difficult, sometimes it's stressful, but it's actually quite inspiring to do these things and then watch them come together. It's just sometimes so beautiful.
when it comes together. And to go back to The Gathering Place, from the start of COVID-19, our hashtag at The Gathering Place has been, we got this. You know what? So do you. So find the gap, fill the gap, deal with the negative, and the rest is gravy. While many can see what needs to be done, the true leaders like you go do it. Right now, that's what we need. Too many talkers. We need doers. We need people who have not only vision, but passion and skills and passion and ability and passion. There is no group that doesn't need your skills right now. Right now. Find them. Help them. Don't ask what you're getting out of it. That'll come. What you will be doing is finding a way to fix everything my generation and generations before me broke. Now, I know you're in a hurry to get to social distance celebrating or social media-ing, so I'm going to leave you with a few things you should not stop doing. Don't stop being proud of yourself. You are all beautiful, smart, and resourceful, and fun. Don't stop asking questions. Don't stop learning. Don't stop reading. And I don't mean Facebook posts. I mean, really, don't stop your reading. Don't stop loving those friends that kept you through so many, many nights over many, many years. Don't stop loving your family. Don't stop loving your world. And yes, I'm going to do it. You knew I was going to do it. I'm going to finish with Journey. Don't stop believing in yourself, in your family, in your friends, and in your world. You are going to make it even more amazing than it already is. Go get them.